Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about yet another type of a planet that doesn't really exist in our own solar system. You're looking at one such planet right here. These are called the Poofy Planets. Let's talk about this and welcome to What The Math. So this is actually a planet called Corot 1b. We've discovered this planet back in 2007, uh, about 12 years ago from when I'm making this video. And um, as you can kind of see from where it's located, it's exceptionally close to its parent star. And for one reason or another, this planet that's uh, actually quite massive, it's uh, essentially a little bit more massive than our own Jupiter, is also much, much larger than Jupiter. And for the reasons we can't really explain just yet, it seems to be much bigger than it should be. And as a matter of fact, its density is very low, making this, well, a poofy planet. It's essentially so expanded and so blown up that it's almost like a cloud. Now, um, if I were to try to fly through its upper atmosphere and try to uh, imagine what this would be like, I would actually be flying through quite a lot of superheated gas. And not just superheated gas, but gas that's extremely highly charged and um, is in some sense more similar to fire or plasma than it is to actual gas. And so these objects are extremely unique and we've discovered quite a few of them. As a matter of fact, there's at least six already confirmed. And we think that these are actually quite common out there in our galaxy. But for one reason or another, our own solar system doesn't seem to have anything similar to this. We have Jupiter, but it's much, much smaller than this object. Now, first of all, let's actually um, talk about why this is so unusual. So the thing about gas giants is that um, at some point they reach the maximum possible size. So with Jupiter, if I were to actually compare it to Saturn, which is right here, its size is only a little bit bigger, even though its mass is three times higher. And if I were to keep adding more mass to it, it would actually not um, increase in size that much. As a matter of fact, um, you can see the radius here. The radius doesn't change and at some point it will actually start contracting and decreasing in, um, in radius. So for this reason, we're not entirely sure what's happening with uh, these uh, poofy planets. So like, for example, an object that's about four masses of Jupiter is actually smaller uh, in size than Jupiter. So Jupiter, our own Jupiter in comparison, is actually a little bit bigger in size. How is it that we've actually been uh, finding planets that are more massive than Jupiter and are dramatically bigger? Like we're talking several times uh, the size of Jupiter, way, way, way bigger and also a lot less dense, even less dense than the least dense object in our own solar system, which is Saturn. And so to answer this question, we, um, or I guess the scientists, decided to see what would actually happen to the gases when they are so close to the actual star. And what they think is happening here is that because of the actual heat and because of the amount of solar radiation uh, the upper atmosphere of this um, gas giant is receiving, a lot of the particles that are part of the atmosphere start being supercharged. They actually get um, very, very electrically charged and start interacting with one another. And this basically creates a very unusual effect where the atmosphere starts poofing up and expanding way more than it should. And so the reason this planet is so poofed up is not just because of the heat, but also because of the highly charged atmosphere. Very, very highly charged, like to the point where everything here is probably a large electrical storm. Now, here's another object that we've discovered back in 2007, also uh, a poofy planet known as Tress 4b. And as you can see, it looks exceptionally similar and most likely has very similar properties and the reasons for being so poofy as well. Here's another planet, uh, Wasp 12b. This one is slightly different in color, mostly because it probably has somewhat different composition, but it's also a simulation, so we don't really know exactly what it looks like. But for the most part, 
um, all of these planets are several times larger in size than Jupiter, even though their mass is relatively comparable. So if I were to place Jupiter right next to one of them, this is kind of what Jupiter would look like. And so it's tremendously larger, very, very, very hot. So we can actually maybe even change the temperature here. And as you can see, uh, if we were to place them next to each other, Jupiter would actually start uh, most likely destroying the larger object simply because um, Jupiter is slightly more dense and um, despite the mass difference, it's uh, most likely going to actually steal some of the atmosphere here. Although I think they just basically collided at this point. So uh, these poofy planets are very mysterious. We still don't really know why they're so, um, well, low in density, essentially. They're kind of like big cloudy objects. And we think that it's um, possibly because of this highly charged atmosphere that doesn't exist anywhere else in the solar system and um, only exists when those really large planets are very, very close to their parent star, like you see right here. So at this distance, uh, the amount of actual electrical energy generated in the atmosphere of these planets is probably tremendous. Uh, these planets probably are literally just covered in lightning strikes and lightning shows and uh, most likely also have some exceptional, exceptional uh, northern and uh, southern lights also known as aurora. So if one day we get to take a photo of the actual planet and see what it really looks like, that would probably blow our minds. It would be absolutely incredible in terms of what we actually see here. But until then, all we can do is really try to use science and our understanding of various interactions between stars and planets to try to guess what's happening here. And I guess in some sense, um, well, until we actually see one of these planets, we can't really do anything else. We also need to try to understand why our solar system doesn't have any of these and why some solar systems or some star systems seem to have quite a lot. On that note, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I wanted to briefly talk about the poofy planets, yet another type of unusual planets that don't really exist in our solar system. Hopefully you'll learn a little bit more about the universe, space and uh, sciences from this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe, share this video with someone who enjoys learning about various scientific concepts and come back tomorrow to learn something else and maybe even support this channel on Patreon because it does help me quite a lot. Space out, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.